What up folks, welcome back to Ultra Zelda Toys, and today I have a review of the Diamond Select Toys Pacific Rim Uprising Kaiju Infected Jaeger Drone. Or as I like to call it, just the Kaiju Drone. Yes, this figure is a spoiler. <laughs> Um, but if you haven't seen it, my apologies, and uh, Pacific Rim Uprising is one of those movies, it's a little polarizing because it was nowhere near as good as the first, the first is a, kind of a masterpiece, but one thing I will definitely say, uh, I enjoyed Pacific Rim Uprising for what it was, a uh, fun uh, kaiju action movie, but uh, I, I thought this here, this concept, this figure, this kaiju drone, it's a spoiler, okay? There's a kaiju drone of a Jaeger, a Jaeger-infected kaiju drone um, <laughs> in the movie. There's a lot of them. Spoilers, hey! Sorry. Um, this was one of the coolest parts of the movie, I thought, at least. Uh, they just have a really great look. I like the idea behind them. You know, uh, I... Wish they were in it a little more. Um, there's another spoiler. It's kind of hard to, to review this figure without being a little spoilery. But thank you, Diamond Select Toys, for sending this over. This is uh, the last of Wave 3 uh, that I needed to review. And I wanted to do a nice little premiere for it here. And hopefully I'm actually doing a premiere. I don't know. That's the, the plan. So... You know, fingers crossed that you guys are all watching a premiere right now. Um, because I just think this is the coolest piece in the line that they did, for sure. Uh, I've liked multiple pieces in the line. I think they've done a pretty good job overall. The sculpt work and the paint, for the most part, has been very, very good. You know, the line has suffered here and there from some figures having some loose joints. Uh, but I've enjoyed the offerings. It's different than what Robot Spirits did. And uh, this last wave has been a must-get for everyone. Uh, if you like Pacific Rim, you gotta get this wave because they give it, they gave us all these Jaegers and uh, Jaegers that we haven't had. This amazing Kaiju drone as well as the uh, Kaiju Hakuja, which is way, way better than the... Uh, Robot Spirit. So in a way, this is kind of like a little retrospective in a way. <laughs> it's opening at least. But really, let, let's get down and talk about this Kaiju drone because it deserves our full attention. I'm gonna get articulation out of the way first. So the head is on a joint that kind of can rotate back and forth. I think it might be a ball joint. Hard to say. Um, but I can really only go that way and that way. It might be able to go back and forward just a bit, but I haven't really been able to do it. You got an ab joint here, which gives you a lot of back and forth movement, uh, side to side movement, I should say. Back and forth, not as well. It is a tad loose on mine, but not like, you know, super loose. Um, the shoulders are on a hinge and a big ball joint, you see it in there. So you actually can get some really good rotation in it and it goes back and forward. It almost acts like a butterfly joint. You see that, how much it could go across? That's pretty good. Uh, I, I dig that as well. And uh, because of this, it kind of acts like a drop down joint as well. It's not really, neither one are really, but you kind of get that feel from it. You know, there's good rotation in there. It feels really good. Uh, and both shoulders work pretty well. Hinge at the uh, elbow there. And then you got a hinge and a swivel here at the wrist. The legs only could go about that much. Legs are a little problematic in that way. They can only go that much. Uh, and then, you know, you get some rotation. There is some detents, as you can see. There, that's pretty good. The knee, same thing. So nice and tight there. And then, you know, because it's got like these kind of bow-legged, bow-legged, <laughs> I forget the proper term right now, of course, um, and then the foot is on a ball joint as well, it does have a hinge that I can see right back there, so you can get a little bit forward, there is a ratchet in there, so there you go with that, and uh, that's about it on the articulation, now, like I'm saying, the legs, because of the way 
you know, chicken leg, chicken leg. That's what I wanted to say. That I thought of it in the same segment. Uh, because of the way they are and because of the way the feet, you know, kind of get like hindered here, uh, it's, you got to get the sweet spot for, for perfect standing. But there you go there. That looks pretty good. So, yeah. But otherwise, I mean, the articulation for what it is is not bad at all. I really like the shoulders a lot. The Kaiju drone comes with an extra pair of hands. These aren't that much different. Um, you just got a one of the fingers, a pinky, I guess, uh, kind of curved in a little more. Both hands are kind of curved in. Uh, both hands, both fingers, just ever so slightly. There you go, that's a better angle. You can see this is even going in a little more. It's not that much different. I don't know if it's necessary. Uh, I mean, they look good. I, maybe I would have liked a little bit something different, but I can't really think of what else they can't, you know, they did that would have warranted it. But I do appreciate them giving us something here, and they're both done pretty well, you know, sculpt and paint work. So, yep, yeah, there you go. But let's take a look at this guy closely now. Head sculpt is really cool. I really like it. I love what's going on around the the eyes, you know. The light little kaiju, little tentacles things kind of forming some sort of kind of eyes. They might not be the eyes, but whatevs. Um, they kind of look like that. I like how it, this is kind of open, the split open the head. And uh, yeah, we're going to probably get a little spoilery maybe. I don't know. <laughs> as much as I can remember. Uh, I've seen the movie a few times, but uh, I'm never great with the, uh, the memory stuff. <laughs> memory stuff, hey. Maybe I should stop drinking all the coffee I'm drinking. Um, then you see in here, you got a lot of the blue on top of the gray on the neck. That looks really good. I love his little mouth in there. My son thinks it's creepy. That's his word of the week. It's creepy. It is kind of creepy, a little mouth in there. Look at that. That's pretty cool, though. Really well done. It's got some nice sculpt work throughout, you know, as you see the helmet there. Uh, around the collar here, you see some spikies starting to protrude, protrude, protrude right through the armor there. That looks pretty decent. Uh, nicely done there. You got the bloom. The signature, you know, luminescence of uh, the kaiju. I like that a lot. Uh, you know, and you saw it here better. Uh, than uh, some of the actual main kaiju of the movie. But you got a nice little teal color in there as well. I dig that. And you see it back here as well. And all the spikies coming out sculpted very, very nicely. Really dig those. That's pretty cool. Very nice. And the blue throughout, you know, works well. The back looks really good. Now, Going into his arms here, you see a lot of the, you know, darker gray little tentacles coming out. The arm, the uh, elbows are completely kaiju here, you know, with the blue, with the gray, nice sculpt. This is tubing, which I'm assuming is from the uh, Jaeger drone that kind of just got integrated in. You got more of this teal here and uh, at the... Uh, at the thighs there with the little tentacles going around it. The hands look really great, kind of like I just showed you with the uh, extras. These are equally as good. I really like the, the the back of the hands here with the silver and a little bit of teal, really nicely painted. I like the hands a lot. So here we go with the legs more, taking a look right down to the top here of, uh, well, I should say the bottom of his thigh. I really dig that piece there. Kind of almost looks like that's where the original knee bend was supposed to be of the the drone. Probably not because there's actual knee bend there, but that's kind of what it looks like to me. I like the black they use here. It looks good. The gun metal around it looks very nice, nicely sculpted all throughout. I like these little spikes on the side and the spikes come on, coming up from his hips. That looks pretty good there. So he's got kind of a little spike here that's like a tail. I dig that. You know, in the back of the legs here, you got some nice, nice work going on here. Nothing is skimped upon. They really did well painted and, and sculpting this one. Uh, I really, really like these here uh, coming out from the, the back of his chicken legs here, his uh, second calf. <laughs> you know, I think that looks amazing on both sides. 
really well done. Going down here, you got some little bit of wash around it, not so bad. You know, it's it's slight, but it's there. Teal, blue again, luminescence, looking good. I like these little dots here, they're probably, you know, from the, the drone itself. Uh, and I like how the metal just kind of looks like all like bent out of shape and all messed up here and here. Really cool looking. And then the feet uh, there are uh, in gray, but sculpted well. And you got a little bit of blue on top. Not much there, but it's the same thing as the hands. So I don't mind it. Overall, this guy looks amazing. I didn't even look at here. You got a little symbol here. Uh, you got the, uh, was it the Z is it Zao? I can't remember uh, the company. It says it, but I'm not reading it well. Um, it's right there. My eyes are not doing good here. But you got the little symbol there, and that looks cool on both sides. I like that. I like these little uh, circular items here. Those look cool. Circular items. Yeah, I'm great. Um, silver and silver here. It all looks good. So very, very nice look for this drone. I really, really dig it. It is super, super cool. Um, yeah, sculpt work. This, I think, is the cream of the crop, in my opinion, uh, that DST did. And I saved it for last year of uh, their regular line. So very nicely done, DST. I'm, you know, really, really happy with the way this one turned out. Before we get into size comparisons, one other cool thing I like is just the length of his arms. Uh, because he has the chicken legs, it just looks super, super, super long. And I don't know, there's something about that that I personally really like about this one. It's very unique. They, uh, this was a cool idea for sure. All right, and size comparison starting with his wave mints, wave mates, mints, uh, November Ajax and Valor Omega, both really cool kaiju, which means all in all, this was a great, you know, third wave here. So pretty awesome. And here's the drone with a couple of uh, the NECA Pacific Rim figures with the Kaiju Knife Head and the Ultimate Gypsy Danger. Here it is with a couple of Tamashi figures with Gamera 3 and Kamen Rider build. A couple of little guys with uh, the new Funko Mega Man and uh, Siege Sideswipe. And finally a couple of figures from a couple of other uh, notable U.S. companies with the NECA Godzilla 54 and the Mezco Kong. Final thoughts? This is a great figure. I really like it. Um, it's got a little bit of weirdness in the legs. Makes it a little bit hard to pose, but... You know, I mean, ultimately this is going to be uh, on my shelf and, uh, you know, I'm going to use it for some picks and I, I think it's going to work totally fine. I really like what DST did with the sculpt and the paint on this one. It looks awesome. I mean, again, they put this out and that in itself is fantastic because this is one thing from that movie that I super, super wanted and they gave it to us and I think they did a really great job with it, so... There you go, guys. That is my simple final thought on that. I think it looks fantastic. If you're going to get anything from this series, this is something to definitely, definitely get. My, I, I could probably say it's my favorite piece in the line. So there you go. Now, is it the end? Right now it is. Uh, as far as the regular figures go, there is the gallery uh, figure coming out of Gypsy Avenger, which looks phenomenal. So... Put your support into that, guys, and, uh, you know, put that on your pre-order list. It looks amazing. I've seen it in person, and uh, it's definitely something I'm going to be getting. Uh, really, really nice. That's more statuesque, but, man, does it look amazing. So there you go with that, and support the ones that are out, you know, like, get these guys. You can still make a difference and get these guys, uh, and if you do enjoy them, you know, and show retailers that you're getting them, that goes back to DSD, that info, you know, and they, they're already going back to production with uh, the first, you know, uh, wave of stuff again, so that's pretty cool, which, you know, could mean more stuff in the future. We don't know for sure. It's never written in stone, guys, so you never know. Just support what's out there now. Uh, there's been a lot of cool figures in this line, and to me, this one is uh, my favorite of all of them. So there you go. Thanks again to Diamond Select Toys for sending this over. You guys uh, have been a big supporter of the channel this year and uh, in the past year. 
and I completely appreciate that. Uh, I thank you for your trust, and I hope you've enjoyed the reviews as well as everybody watching. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Till next time, peace out, peeps.